boiling point is the temperature at which the vapor pressure is equal to the atmospheric pressure the temperature at which the vapor pressure is equal to the atmospheric pressure well 3.2 on the other hand is saying that is this a fair investigation choose from yes or no and let's give a reason for the answer right so let's look at what is happening here we have an investigation that was conducted to determine the effect of one of the factors on the boiling points of the alcohols three straight chain primary alcohols p q and r were used the results obtained are shown in the table below as you can clearly see right so back to your question is this a fair investigation yes it is a fair investigation all the alcohols that are used are straight so we have straight chain and primary right because if one was straight and the other one was not it would affect our investigation and 3.3 .3 is saying that let's write down a suitable conclusion for this investigation so let's look at the data in our tables below and sort of you know conclude so for our alcohol p we have two carbons and a boiling point of 78 degrees celsius then for alcohol q we have five carbons and a boiling point of 170 degrees Celsius. For alcohol R, we have three carbons and a boiling point of 97 degrees Celsius. So we can see here that uh, the boiling point increases as the number of C atoms increases, right? We can see it clearly from uh, the data we have. So the trick here in this question is that they put P of two carbons and then you have Q of five carbon and then last year, lastly R of three carbons, right? But then if you put them in order of uh, the number of carbons, you will clearly see that as the number of uh, carbon atoms increases, the boiling point also increases. And in 3.4, we have to explain why that is so, right? Why is an increase in carbon atoms increasing the boiling point? So if uh, the chain length uh, increases right uh, the surface area of uh, the compound will also increase if the surface area increases the intermolecular forces uh, will increase right and then obviously if the intermolecular forces increases uh, more energy is required uh, to break or overcome the intermolecular forces and then as a consequence we're gonna have a higher boiling point right but then you have to write it in full you don't see imf you see intermolecular forces and you don't see sa you see surface area yeah right this is uh the teacher's language you should write it in full right and then 3.5 uh, is saying that the investigation is repeated using half the original volume of alcohol r while keeping all other conditions the same how will this change affect the boiling point of alcohol r choose from increase decrease or remain unchanged so if you change the volume you're not changing the intermolecular forces of a substance right so the boiling point will remain the same so the answer here will be remains uh unchanged right yeah because changing the volume doesn't change the intermolecular forces of a substance whether you have two liters of water or you have a hundred million liters of water the boiling point is a hundred degrees Celsius, right? So the volume doesn't affect the boiling point of substance. And 3.6, 3.6 is saying which one of the alcohols has the highest vapor pressure? Choose from P, Q, or R. Give a reason for your answer. So uh, the higher the boiling point, the lower the vapor pressure, right? So the compound with the higher vapor pressure is supposed to have the lowest boiling point. So that will be alcohol p right since it has a 78 degrees celsius um boiling point and then the scene which will give a reason you're gonna say that um the lower the boiling point the higher the vapor pressure so as a result uh, our answer for 3.6 is a uh, compound alcohol p then 3.7 how will the boiling point of a straight chain compound uh, c6h14 so this is an alkane right uh, to be more specific this is hexane 
right compared to that of alcohol q so alcohol q uh, that is uh, butanol right butanol so we compare in the two so the boiling point of alkene will be less than that of an alcohol and let's fully explain why we're saying so so c6h14 um it consists of um land and forces right consists of land and forces while on the other hand uh compound q alcohol q uh consists of you know hydrogen bonding it has hydrogen bonding and then we know fully well that uh, hydrogen bonding is much stronger than London forces, right? So the intermolecular forces of compound Q will be greater than the intermolecular forces of uh, the alkane, right? Hexane. See, 6H14. Um, so as a consequence, uh, more energy is required. Uh, more energy is required to overcome uh, the intermolecular forces in a compound or alcohol q right as a consequence the boiling point of hexane will be less than that of alcohol q